Okay, in this video, we are going to be taking a look at 1.1, solving a mystery. But first of all, kind of introducing the unit. Remember, a lot of what we do um, is a story, and so it all ties into the same story. And now we're looking at enlarging and reducing shapes. So one of the definitions that you'll need to know is this idea of scale drawings. So you probably heard scale drawings, but probably the one thing that you've seen is the idea of a blueprints. And that's probably the most common scale drawing that's out there that everybody has seen, touched, look at, and kind of understand how the blueprint work. But a scale drawing is a sketch or drawing uh, of something either bigger or smaller than itself. And it's to scale, meaning it's proportional. So it's not going to be um, abnormally large or abnormally small. All the different parts of that, that drawing are going to look similar to the real object, which is, again, either bigger or smaller, depending. So right here, we're looking at solving a mystery. And so let's look at this story. Um, because it's going to introduce us to the idea, idea of similarity. So the Mystery Club at PI Middle School meets monthly. Members watch videos, watch, discuss novels, play whodunit games, and talk about real-life mysteries. One day, a member announces that the school is having a contest. The teacher is going to disguise themselves for a few minutes at uh, the school each school day for a week. Any student can pay a dollar and guess the identity of the mystery teacher. Student with the first correct guess wins a prize. So now down, down here, Daphne took a picture, and this is Daphne's picture that we're looking at here. This is the mystery teacher that we're trying to identify who it is. And the only thing that we know is that this magazine right here, this magazine is 10 inches high and we're supposed to use that information to help us solve this mystery of who this teacher is and this is our story into looking at the idea of similarity and how we can use it to answer bigger questions like this so what do you think D Daphne has in mind how is she going to use that information to answer the question or to find out the identity of that teacher um, and then also uh, what do you suppose the advisor means by similar? So they're talking about similar things. Talked about that a little bit. Similar, like a blueprint, is similar to the actual house. All of the side lengths are proportional to the actual house. So one inch could equal eight feet, for example, uh, on a blueprint to the scale of the actual house. So similar are the same shapes but different sizes okay so it's the same shape different size that's what similar means make sure that definition is in your notes so far you have two definitions in your notes the first one was the scale drawing right there and then now similar should also be in your notes so those two definitions need to be in your notes all right, so now in this, um, in this lesson, we are taking a look at this, this um, poster, and we want to make this larger, okay? We want to make it much larger, and we're going to look at an interesting way to make this shape right here larger using uh, rubber bands. And if we did not do this in class, here are the instructions uh, to go ahead and do that. Make sure the rubber bands are the same length, so identical rubber bands in order for this to work. So if you haven't done this, go ahead and follow through and do this because to answer these questions, you need to look at those two images, your original and the one that you create. Now once you do that, or if we did that in class, go ahead and answer these questions down here. We're looking at the original shape and its image. And so looking at your two images, they should look something like this, where you had your anchor point back here somewhere, um, and then we're answering some of those questions about these two images. Where this right here, this would be your original, and that would be the image of the image. 
whatever you want to call that, right? So image number two. And it should be bigger than the first one if you did the activity correctly. So now let's take a look at answering some of these questions. Describe how the original figure, that's the smaller one, and the image are alike and how they are different. So number one, the general shapes. Well, the general shapes are the same. Right, so the general shapes are going to be the same. And in your notes, make sure you use full sentences. Um, you would say the general shapes of the two figures are the same. And the second, second one, the lengths of the line segments. Now, here's the tricky part, right? The second one, or the image, is larger. And actually, the image is two times, if you did it correctly, should be two times as big. So we'll say the side lengths are two times larger. Right, so the image side lengths are two times larger. And then the areas and perimeters, well, well, let's look at the perimeters. For the perimeter, right, so the perimeters, the image is going to be two times larger as well. So the, it, the perimeters are going to be two times bigger. But the area is going to be different. The area is not going to be two times larger. It is bigger, but we're going to talk about that later, uh, looking at the areas. But right now, just know that the area of the second shape is going to be two t or about uh, the area of the second shape is going to be more than the area of the original. So this one here is going to have a larger area. Then if you look at the rest of the questions here. The angles and the hats and the bodies, looking at the angles, we are looking at these. So like this angle and that angle, this angle and that angle, this angle and that angle. So angles that would be similar to each other, right? So these two angles should be similar to each other. And in fact, the angles don't change. The angles are all the same, regardless of how big or small the you make the images the angles are all going to be the same and then the distance of corresponding points on each figure from point p that would be this distance whoops the distance from here to here here to here here to here all of those distance are going to be proportional as well otherwise if they weren't proportional you would have a figure that maybe you have a leg here and a leg here the hat is here and so forth so all of those points are going to be proportional from small to big as well and then on part b it asks you to do another image and comparing general shapes, lengths, areas, perimeters to see if the same thing happens. See if it's just that that image that we used was was um, unique in, in that respect or if it's for any image. And then would your comparisons in part one change if the location of P? Oh, so the location of P, that's your pivot point. I'm sorry. So that is this point the back here. So think about this is your pivot point. So think about if I moved it down here. So go ahead and try it. Change your pivot point here or move it closer or move it further away. Uh, try different things to see what your shape is going to look like. And if you did that correctly, no matter where you put P, it's not going to change the size or the shape. All it's going to do is change the location. So if I had point P down here, then my image is going to be up in that direction, right? If I put it right here, then my image is gonna be down and to the right. If I put it directly behind, like on this one, my image is gonna be directly in front of it. So that, that pivot point P, where you hold down your rubber band, all that does is it moves the image up and down. And for the last one, the original figure and its image are similar figures. So this is 
a your last definition similar figures get that written down what do you think uh similar means in mathematical terms so try to put it in math terms pause the video try to write that out in your own words and then come back and we'll kind of discuss what that means in mathematical terms so now that you have your own definition what similar means in math terms similar it just means that two figures have the same shape but they are different sizes so make sure that gets written down same shape different size so a triangle and a square are not similar figures the shapes of the figures and their angles measures are the same the side lengths, perimeters, and areas are different. So the same shape, different sizes. Also, angles are the same. But when you look at side length, perimeter, and area, they are all different. And they're bigger or smaller depending on if your image is bigger or smaller than the original. Okay, so that's what's going to be different. And then we talked about the same, that you're going to have the same shapes, same angles, different perimeter side lengths and area. Okay, that is it. A pretty short video for introducing the idea of similarity. Um, and we're trying to solve this mystery of who is that teacher.